This Whiskey Whereabouts. I'm Tim, and this is what it's all come down to. The final championship tasting flight of Malt Madness 2024. We started with 25 whiskeys five weeks ago, and here we are with the five winners all going head to head in a blind tasting flight. I'm gonna taste them, I'm going to rank them, and I'm going to declare the champion right now. My whiskey journey has taken me to Scotland and back. I've explored whiskey education, tastings, and distilleries from Isla to Speyside. And now my journey continues here with you on Whiskey Whereabouts. So if you've been following along, you already know that I took uh, 25 Scotch whiskey samples from a 2023 premium Scotch whiskey advent calendar from the really good whiskey companies cask explorer series i separated them out into five groups we seeded them and i had a series of tasting flights where i declared one winner from each if you haven't seen the previous episodes i'll put the most recent one right here so you can get caught up the links to all the prior episodes are also in the description below so let's go through one last time the five finalists for the title of malt madness champion starting from the lowest to the highest seeds the lowest seeded finalist lechik 18 year 46.3 percent abv whiskey it's bourbon matured it's finished in sherry no chill filtration no color added this is the finals this is the 20 seed in the tournament next up the 16 seed overall Anak 18, 46% ABV whiskey. This is a sherry and bourbon matured whiskey. Moving on to the 11 seed. It's Deanston 15 year, but this is the tequila cask finish. It's 52.5% ABV whiskey. It's been 13 years in a bourbon hogshead and then two years in Scottish made tequila casks. Next up, the five seed overall, Kubakan. 15 year this is the 2022 edition it's 50 percent abv whiskey it's oloroso matured this is peated tomatin but it is more complicated than simply peated tomatin and the number one overall seed in the tournament is a single cast glen elgin 24 year age in a bourbon hogshead 54 percent abv it comes via the glenmore rare fine series is whiskey distilled in 1998. So what I have here in front of me is a very impressive flight of single malt scotch whiskeys. We've got two peated whiskeys in the group. We have three whiskeys with either sherry maturation or sherry finishes. Lowest ABV is 46%. Obviously there's no chill filtration or color added in this uh, flight. Um, three whiskeys, 50% ABV or better. Before I sort of dive in, I just wanna thank you for following along. Um, voting in the polls and checking in with the progress as we've pitted these groups of five against each other um, all to get here and the way here is going to go is i'm going to go through and just sort of uh, start over here on the left side uh, they've been placed randomly i do not know which whiskey is which i'm going to work my way over uh, to the right side i'm going to nose and taste the whiskeys i'm going to rank them at each of the stages uh, and then I'm going to declare the overall ranking and winner. So it's time for the tip off. And I'm going to go in now and nose the first whiskey. I'm not going to sort of go and try to note uh, each section of the whiskeys. We've already done that in the previous episodes. Yeah, that one's sweet, spicy, hot, plenty of ABV on that whiskey. Uh, nice nose. They're all going to be nice. We're here in the finals. Smoky, peaty, pungent. Pretty sweet. The third whiskey is much more subtle, much more delicate than the first two noses. It's bringing in some new elements though, sort of a floral element off that sweetness. Very nice, um, a bit more elegant than the first two. Yeah, that one's a little sharper than its predecessor. Um, still relatively um, lighter and uh, with a nice sweetness, a nice sort of uh, floral sort of perfumey kind of elements um, in the nose there. Nice, sweet and toasty on this fifth whiskey. This is going to be tough. I'm going back and forth trying to separate these uh, these whiskeys just on the nose. It's really, really tough to get some distance. But I have my rankings on just the noses blind on these whiskeys, starting from the weakest nose, working up to the uh, best. So the weakest nose is gonna be whiskey number five. And then I'm gonna go to whiskey number three, whiskey number one and 
Then I'm gonna say whiskey number four with the winner of the best nose in the flight being whiskey number two. So it's onto the palettes. It's a really nice palette here. I'm, uh, I've already had these whiskeys. I'm, I'm trying not to kind of get too much into identifying this one. Um, it's pretty, it's just pretty unmistakable. It is sweet, it is salty, it is rich, it's hot, and it is uh, pretty impressive. So moving on, whiskey number two. Just a fantastic pita whiskey. It is smoky. It doesn't come off nearly as hot as the first one. Um, there's plenty there. And it is very, it has a lot of sweetness, a lot of the smoky peat. It has a sort of savory element to it. This is another nice, nice whiskey. Really nice presence on the palate. Just rich, balanced, a really, a really nice, I mean, what else is there to say? These are all fantastic whiskeys. This has a sweetness, it has a presence, it has a depth. Pretty impressive palette here. Sweet elements, so rich, so balanced. Nice with the sort of spiciness, very pleasant heat. The palettes are even harder than the noses. Just absolutely impossible to separate these too much. But I have my ranking, and it certainly is no dishonorable place to come in even fifth in this flight. But uh, the lowest ranked palette for me is going to be uh, whiskey number three. Then I'm going to go with whiskey number one. Whiskey number five, two, and four is gonna win the palette round. Next up, the finishes. No complaints about the finish of any whiskey in this flight. They're all excellent, but I have to put one of them fifth, and the fifth ranked finish in this uh, flight is gonna be whiskey number four. Uh, the second lowest is going to be whiskey number one. Then I'm gonna go with whiskey number three. So the top finish comes down between these two, I'm gonna say next up is whiskey number five, with the winner being whiskey number two. So I have my scores for each of the stages, but I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna do a final taste as I work my way through the flight and figure out overall how I'm gonna rank these finalists. Okay, so after deliberating so long that the camera turned itself off, I am back and I'm ready to reveal my rankings and the winner, the champion of Malt Madness 2024. I'm going to start over here on the left side and I'm gonna place the, the weakest of a very, very strong flight um, over here in this spot. And I'm gonna work my way up and put the winner over here in this spot. Honestly, determining this winner from this flight, it might be the most challenging thing that I've ever had to do on the channel so far. And I had to go back to the scorecards and kind of look and see who placed where, try to separate um, really the final two. Very, very close, very, very competitive, but here we go. And we're gonna start over here, and I'm going to place in the first position, the lowest position, I'm gonna leave whiskey number one, right where it is. In the second position, I'm going to move over whiskey number three. And in the third position, it's gonna be whiskey number five. There's a gap here, I think. I think there's, a, there, there, there's these two, a little bit of a gap, and then there's the top two. And um, this was close, and it was very, very difficult. But I'm gonna move whiskey number two into the top position. This is the winner. Whiskey number two of Malt Madness 2024. So we have a winner, and that winner is Lechik 18 year. This is the lowest seeded whiskey in the final group, the 20 seed overall in the tournament. It was very, very close. Um, that 24 year Glen Elgin was knocking on the door. It was a photo finish. That's a pretty impressive whiskey. So I hope you've enjoyed the journey over these last five weeks. I've certainly enjoyed tasting all these different whiskeys and bringing the results to you. We've crowned what I think is a very worthy uh, champion here. And if you've enjoyed these videos, make sure if you haven't already subscribed, you can press this big button that's gonna be popping up right over here so you don't miss any of the future videos. We have a lot more fun stuff coming on the channel and I'll see you on the next one.